Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming to our webinar today. This is a webinar between Snapshot and EasyData. The focus of our webinar today is taking a quick look at some really interesting advanced tools for working with subject matter experts. Um, and today, obviously, that's going to be Snapshot. Uh, many of you may, may not have heard of Snapshot. Uh, those of you who have, this will be a nice introduction to how Snapshot works with EasyData. Um, so we're going to get into just exactly why we think this is an interesting integration um, in a few minutes. But first, we're going to start off by with just a little bit of an introduction with who we are. So the, um, I am Patrick Bozik. I'm representing EasyData. And today with me, we have um, Sasha Ramini. Um, I think he, uh, that's, a, that's a nickname there. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher your, your full name, Sasha, so why don't you do it for me? Oh, it's Alexander, but Sasha is perfectly OK. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, I, I think if I just said Alexander, then it would, uh, it would be easy for me. But the way it's spelled is, is difficult uh, for me anyways. That's true. So just a little bit of background on me. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Jorsec LLC, and our only product is Easy Data. So pretty much everybody knows us as Easy Data. Um, I've been in the content management um, and structured content space my entire career. Um, so this is something that's, you know, um, a bit of a, um, uh, it's been kind of my whole life and it's something that I, I feel that um, I've really enjoyed spending a lot of time in. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, where you come from, Sasha? Uh, so um, as it was already said, my name is Sasha <laughs> and it's the same as Alexander or Alexander, so whatever you would prefer. And uh, my background is uh, product snapshot. Uh, I am co-founder with the same named company and uh, our background is specifically targeting creation of the content, uh, which is uh, fast procedural guides, step-by-step -step guides, etc. And uh, we are helping companies, IT operation teams to be more productive when they are specifically creating the content uh, that is screenshot-based step-by-step guides. Great. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the, some of the challenges that we know we have when dealing with subject matter experts. We're then going to take a quick look at Stepshot. Um, as a possible way of bridging the gap between subject matter experts and technical writers. Um, then we'll take a little bit of a look at how this interacts with Easy Data and how we can organize this con content once it's in Easy Data. Um, and we'll we'll finish with a little bit of publishing. So first off, you know, what is Easy Data for those of you who are not familiar? Easy Data is everything you need for content development in one tool. Um, so we have an authoring interface that is um, a very simple, uh, what you see is what you get, um, data, XML, authoring interface. It's not a watered down authoring interface, it's just one that's built to be very streamlined. So it does support the full data specification. We have a full component content management system that's integrated directly into this tool. So it's going to give you all the things you expect from a CCMS. Um, it's going to give you advanced reporting, link management, organization, um, different aspects of uh, publishing and metadata, uh, oh, and of course search, search is what I'm forgetting there. And finally, we do have publishing connections. Um, so the one that everyone's familiar with is the Data Open Toolkit. Um, so we can publish using any Data Open Toolkit um, or any um, customization Data Open Toolkit. We have a very, a very nice management interface for that. Um, and we have our own internal um, publishing system that can be used to hook up to other systems. Um, so we have some connections uh, out of the box to things like WordPress, SharePoint, MindTouch, um, and uh, Salesforce's desk.com. Sasha, why don't you take us through just a little bit of what uh, Stepshot is? Yes, sure. So our product uh, is, uh, um, again, specifically for building step-by-step -step guides. And uh, what we do is uh, we allow easy recording, but this is not a video recording, but uh, screenshot-based recording. So each action you do within a software application is uh, captured one after another on each mouse click. And after that, you can annotate the images uh, that you capture, the screenshots specifically, add texts, uh, arrows, uh, highlight regions, 
and uh, after that you produce uh, beautiful documents out of that. Uh, for instance, Word documents, PDF, uh, you can build uh, even HTML website directly from inside the application itself to host it within your local environment. Uh, but this is uh, pieces that uh, can you can have within your infrastructure uh, just to share with other people, uh, but unfortunately, Snapshot on itself does not allow um, easy content management, and that is why we have this pretty good integration with uh, EasyData, where you can do publishing and everything that specifically Patrick highlighted. Patrick? Yeah, thank you. So. Here's the story. Um, you know, working with SMEs can be a range of challenges. Um, I think that everybody who's um, been in different environments dealing with uh, different teams, uh, be they engineers or software developers, um, realize that there's, there's really a, a range of different ways that these people um, can interact, but it's very important that the content can be sourced from them. So, you know, what do we do today? Um, oftentimes, we interview them. Um, or we send them emails with specific questions in them, um, or we go and we, we write things and you know then we send it out for review and you know it may or may not be uh, correct um, or some combination of all these different things. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, uh, I can think back over the last uh, month and I can think of all of those things being done at our company um, even. And our um, our subject matter experts, which are our developers, are pretty advanced at using Easy Data, so they'll manage a lot of their content. But even even in that situation, we do end up with our our writers doing a lot of the interviewing and the emailing. So what is the reason for this? Um, in many cases, it's because subject matter experts don't use our tools. Um, Technical writing tools can be, uh, they can be complex to somebody who hasn't gone through and learned them. Um, they can be a little bit foreign, just as the um, software development environments would be complex for technical writers who weren't familiar with the, developer, the world that developers live in. They're busy. Everybody's busy. Um, and when you're busy, you, know, you don't have time to go out and learn something else or um, focus on something that isn't your core, uh, your core responsibility. Um, and finally, I think, you know, you should just say it, that oftentimes they just don't want to. Um, and I think this has a lot to do with one and two, um, but in many ways, you know, there's, there's always some type of an emotional resistance um, when you have to go into somebody else's world or their tools and you know, you're very busy and you don't really want to go and, and take this time. So what we want to present to you today is the idea that you know, Easy Did in StepShot provides a very interesting solution for um, some situations that address all three of these points. So they don't use our tools. Um, you know, trying to go and uh, bend data tools to be usable by SMEs, uh, it can work in some situations. Um, we've seen situations where it does work. We have customers that, um, that have that. Um, but we also have situations that very commonly it doesn't work, and it's, it's painful for both parties. Um, you know, a lot of questions come up. Do we try to constrain the data to ensure it's more consistent um, when the SMEs create content? Um, do we try to train the SMEs on our tools? How much do we teach them about data or the underlying formats that, that play a role here? And what we really liked about Stepshot, we first um, saw it a little while ago, was that it really gives you a plug-and-play solution that solves you know, the basic foundation of this problem. Um, you know, there is no data when you're creating content, so there's no data training. Because it's a separate tool, it doesn't impact the tools that TechPubs uses. Um, so when you look at um, having to make decisions about constraining environments um, or trying to pare back uh, what it is that you're creating from a tag structure, you don't need to do that because you're not using one tool across the entire enterprise. You're using the right tool for subject matter experts and the right tool for, uh, the, for technical communicators. Um, and we really love the fact that it always generates the same data output, so everything's really consistent. Um, so when you look at what happens when you're done with Stepshot, and we'll see this in a minute, is that it, you go through and you create these procedures, and then it just creates the, uh, a task that is really ready for a technical writer to come in and work with it um, and go to and, you know, clean it up for final publication, um, send it through a review cycle. So the they're busy question. So they're busy is really only a problem when what the, the thing that's being requested of them is really time consuming, it's complex, or it has big major roadblocks. So the idea is that when you're, if you deploy Stepshot and you just hook it up to EasyData, that you've removed a lot of those items. 
Um, as we're going to see today, uh, Sasha's going to go through and he's going to document, um, you know, not a really complex, but a sufficiently complex workflow. And he's going to do it very quickly. And this process, because you're just clicking around and then you fill it in afterwards, it's, it's not complex at all. Um, and then finally, the has roadblocks item. You know, they don't have to go and log into something else. They just open up Snapshot, they click through the application, they write down what they did, and they're done. Um, so it's very fire and forget. Um, there's not a lot of management that comes with it. They don't have to learn the folder structure. You know, they just dump it someplace, and then the, the technical writer picks it up and works with it later. Um, so it really makes it a very streamlined, um, a very uh, low committed um, commitment um, type of an activity for the subject matter expert. And finally, they don't want to. Well, because we've removed a lot of the uncertainty without having to force them to learn data, we've removed a lot of the hurdles because they're just opening up a simple desktop application. Um, they have a lot less reason to resist this. Um, there's so little to learn, and um, this is something that they're going to be able to do very, very quickly. And at the end of it, you know, Stepshot is actually kind of fun because you are just clicking through something and you get some, you get this really interesting um, output so quickly. So it's a very, you get a very quick um, turnaround for the reward from your effort. All right. Um, so with that, we're going to take a little bit of a look at the, the demonstration. So this is what we're going to see today. Um, so we're going to send out a request to a tech writer. Um, we're going to do that some kind of imaginary. So I'm going to request Sasha document something. Um, the engineer will then open up Stepshot and they'll create some content. That will be Sasha in just a second. Um, once he's done, he's going to send this content to EasyData. And then he's going to pass control back over to me. And I'm going to be the tech writer. I'm going to open it up, the content in EasyData. I'm going to add this content to a publication. Then once it's in the publication, I'm going to make some small edits to it. Uh, we can do a little bit of a review on this. And make sure that it's uh, everything is the way we want it to be, uh, and then finally we're going to go and we're going to publish this content. So, um, with that said, um, I am now going to pass over to Sasha, and he can get going on the Snapshot demo. Okay, I'm starting to show my screen. This is uh, the user interface that we have created, uh, and this is uh, the latest version of our software. So you have a workspace uh, concept uh, within Snapshot itself. Uh, it uh, has possibility, gives you options to create articles or uh, combine several articles into manuals. And it's very easy to start uh, actual screen capturing directly from uh, within the workspace, so you can just create an article first, you know, like let's go into step-by-step -step mode. So what I'm going to show today is how to change uh, uh, desktop uh, power options for your operational system. And uh, as Patrick mentioned, it's pretty easy task. and. Uh, that is something that you can easily do with any screenshot capture and application. Uh, but what we hear from our customers uh, that within IT operations team, within software development teams, uh, there is frequently situations uh, when uh, you need to capture uh, during one workflow about 200 or even 2,000 steps um, to document a full installation and configuration procedure. And in this case, it's really fun and it's really not time consuming at all to use Snapshot. So let me call this article setup windows power options plan. and the article is automatically created. So this article provides me with the uh, option to start documenting um, or actually recording the workflow I'm going with and um, I'm going to select window recording option. Otherwise, I can use the full screen recording or region recording so that uh, um, I would capture smaller images. As you can see, there is a region around cursor that is moving everywhere with uh, the cursor itself. Uh, Let's record active window for this demo. I will go to my um, power options screen 
directly from here and um, I will change the power options to balanced and change plan settings. Let's take here 45 minutes uh, to turn uh, the screen on or off uh, during uh, the being unplugged in mode and uh, just to set the settings. Afterwards I would like to close the window I have uh, been working with and now I can stop the recording. Uh, so here is the history of captured screens. Um, I have captured several empty screens. Uh, these are actually not empty. Um, this was just my white background screen captured during additional clicks and uh, um, how I can go with these screens, I can easily delete them from my workflow. And uh, here as you can see the screenshots captured. Also what is very important, um, all the regions and uh, um, places where the screenshot was captured and uh, like option that was specifically clicked, uh, it is already within the screenshot. But if I don't want this information within the screenshot, I can easily delete this. And I can add another annotation uh, that I would like. I can highlight the screen, blur some regions, uh, give some errors here. So anything I would like or specifically adding like text um, region into the form that I can update and uh, this would be a workflow that I'm showing. I can add here sections just to show like this is the start of the workflow, this is the end of the workflow. I can rearrange the windows and what is very important in case your software or your procedure gets updated after some time, I can replace any screenshot um, or remove screenshot um, or just to do a capture directly from the, within the process. Like I would like to do a region screenshot and here I would like to select something that should be replaced. And here I have the updated screenshot. So afterwards I can export given article into different uh, formats. Uh, Word, PDF, um, a folder of images can be exported directly from the application XML and data and uh, all our XML data transformations, the um, exporting option itself uh, supports uh, XSLT transformation so this means you can have your output um, anything as you would like so it is image, it is also title and description so in the case of uh, easy data it would be valid to have some kind of title for the step and here would be description let's better place it less uh, balance mode option selected and now we can also do a publishing um, in easy data integration you have uh, a number of different accounts uh, that you can link from uh, the snapshot and you can select uh, the folder on the server where you would like uh, to put snapshot exported document into Here I would like to select a new page that would be demo with easy data. And now I would like to click publish. Um, I can select a different XSLT transformation for uh, each of my easy data publishing uh, procedures. So. Um, it's available within the software itself and also in case I would like to place my screenshots in the same folder as my article uh, then uh, I don't need to specify anything it will just auto generate assets folder um, otherwise uh, I can pick up another folder where I would like uh, to store all the images for a set of different articles uh, for now I would select um, to auto generate assets folder and also um, I prefer best quality images um, but I can scale the images if I would like them to be smaller on the exported uh, um, document uh, in, to, in the exported uh, article. And now I'm able to do the publishing. What Snapshot does, 
At the second, it uh, flattens the image with the annotation and uploads everything directly into Easy Data Portal. You can do publishing both for articles and also for uh, the manuals. So you can have a manual that uh, have uh, sections uh, that have a set of articles and publishing is done just the same. So I'm now finished with the procedure, annotation and uh, uh, capturing, and now it's available um, on Easy Data Portal. As you can see, it was pretty fast to capture the original workflow. Uh, what we know from our customers is that compared to previous knowledge sharing sessions with uh, subject matter experts, uh, with using software as a clipping tool with Word documents and constant uh, copy based workflows, um, the time benefit, uh, the time savings during actual capturing, it can be 10 to 15 times. So um, it's about 90% time saved during capturing of the workflow using Snapshot. So this is uh, end of the demo from my side. And um, now, Patrick, you can take back the control. Thanks, Sasha. All right, so I'm going to make myself presenter again, and we can take a look at um, how this looks in Easy Data. Okay. Are you uh, seeing my screen? Sasha? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Okay. So for those of you who haven't seen Easy Data, um, we're in the, uh, the authoring interface for Easy Data right now. So this is the content manager um, combined with um, all the other interfaces we use for creating and assembling content. Um, so you can see that folder structure that we, we saw in Snapshot just a second ago. So if we click down into this folder structure, we'll see that there's a number of different files in here. Um, so if I click on one of these files, I'll get a nice little preview. Um, so this is a preview of a, a document that was published from Snapshot, and we were doing some dry runs earlier. The document that Sasha just created is right here in the demo page assets folder. Um, and we can see that that's created this folder or this file over here. Um, so now as a, as a technical writer, um, I've gotten this back. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is add it into a publication. So let's say we want to add it into the Snapshot user guide. Um, that we had, um, that we have uh, already created. Um, so I'm going to go and edit this map, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to drag this object in and insert it into my user guide. Um, I could also add other objects um, very easily. Just drop that one before it maybe, and then I can move over into the preview and I can take a look at what we've gotten back from Snapshot. There's the first task. Here's the second one with all of the different um, screenshots in it. So maybe I see some things in here I want to clean up, or there's some language that doesn't match the style guide that we use, um, or I want to add some, um, some additional information. Um, I can go ahead and I can click Edit on this document, and it's going to pull it open in, in the Easy Data Authoring interface. So I'm going to start by adding some context. You are a Windows user, and you would like to manage your power. Um, and then I could add some, I can make some changes to the, the command uh, in the title here. Um, click on the balanced power settings. Expected result there, we can see that, that was published nicely. Uh, the, we expect that the balance power is, um, is the option that's selected. Once in balance power, select change plan settings. Maybe add a UI control around that guy. Um, so you can see we can come in here and we can make um, changes to this. We could add or remove steps 
Um, so we can say, oh, what is this step? This step doesn't make much sense. Let's get rid of this one. So we'll just go ahead and remove that step. Um, it reorders everything for us, um, of course. And once we're done with this, we'll want to save it and close it down. Um, but now that we've made a few edits to this, it's probably important that we send it back through to the subject matter expert to just get their final approval um, and just have a quick little review. So to do that, I'm going to go back into the content manager and I'm going to come back to my file. Um, you could have also clicked on the map here and it would take me right to it. And I'm going to right click on the file and I'm going to click new assignment. I'm going to say please um, verify my changes. So I'm going to use the author verify and I'm going to make myself the author and the verify. Uh, click create. That'll send out an email um, and it will take them right into their assignment. Um, so I'd want to complete this step so uh, if there are, there are any changes we can come back to it. So now Sasha would get an email and I'll take them right into their assignment where they can view this object. And then as they're scrolling down through it, maybe they see something they don't like and they can just very simply add comments. Save it. And then once they're done, they would either complete the assignment, uh, which could trigger different workflow events, um, or if they felt that we still had work to do, they would click return. And it would come back to the author, and then they would go back to the process of patching those up. And when they were done, they would then move it back to verify, and would kind of go through that little loop until they were um, completed and everybody was happy and then we would close down the assignment. So once we've gotten to the point where everybody is happy with the content, it will be ready for us to go out and start publishing this. So all we're going to do is we're going to come into the publishing inter interface and for this particular map I can just click publish here and then all I have right now is configured is a did open toolkit. Um, if you had publishing to something like WordPress or MindTouch or SharePoint, um, they would be big buttons here as well that you could click on. But I'm just going to select it open toolkit. And then I'm going to click new publish. And I'm going to select one of my publishing scenarios. Um, these are all very configurable. Um, so there's, uh, this is just what you get um, out of the box. I don't think anybody actually uses these in production. And we'll create a PDF. So that's going to send our publishing job off to the publishing queue. Um, and once it's done, it will come back and it will give us back our PDF. All right. So we've got our publishing done. And here is our little step shot user guide that we built today. See, we've got the images in here, the different steps. So this has given us an ability to source content from a subject matter expert, bring it into a CCMS with a predictable, consistent uh, data structure, clean it up a bit, put it back through a review workflow, and then go and actually publish it out to a deliverable. All right. Um, so with that, we've gone through and shown you why we think Stepshot is a really um, neat addition to an easy data implementation, um, and how we can we think that it can really add some value to interacting with subject matter experts. Um, so if there's any questions, we'd love to take them.